dysfunctional vet, we're going to be making potting soil or my blend of potting soil. We're going to start with organic mushroom compost blend. Now the, the stuff I'm going to actually be mixing in the pot is called, um, oh hang, what's it called? Ladybug or something like that. We're going to be mixing into it combination of perlite right here we're going to mix perlite into it and we are also going to mix into it four tablespoons of shaken feed so let me show you how we do that all right this is our shaken feed shaken feed is a 12 4 8 that's your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium levels in there. I'm hoping you can see that label. I'm not sure if you can. You're also going to need some measuring spoons. You're going to need a scoop, the compost that we already talked about, vermiculite, which we've already talked about, a way to mix it up, a mixing bowl, and something to mix it with. This is that um, Fisker knife I told you that I actually like. All right, so let me show you how I do this. We're going to be starting stuff from seed, and in this case, we're going to be doing potatoes that have already blossomed out a little bit. We have our empty can. It's got a little bit of dirt left in it, but that's no big deal. First thing we want to do is get about a quarter of this can. You can use a bucket, but you want about a quarter of it full of your compost. All right, we have about a quarter of it. You want to get some vermiculite, put it in there. How much you need, it's going to be rule of thumb. You're just going to have to figure it out. We want to get our fertilizer. We're going to go one teaspoon. A heaping teaspoon, but a teaspoon. We're going to do two of those. Now, with our knife, we're going to mix this up. Want to mix this up real good. All right, so we have all this mixed up. Now again, as I said, we're doing potatoes. So we now reach in there, get us a good cup full of it, add a little bit to it, throw out these leaves and organic material that's fallen into it, and we set it over to the side. And we keep doing that until we have what we need. Now, if we were doing a whole lot of these, we could fill this up, mixing it constantly with our two teaspoons of some type of a fertilizer. Okay, you could use 888, you could use um, 511, you could use a number of different fertilizers. Anyway, you mix this up, make sure it's all mixed inside there, and then put your stuff in your pots and you're ready to plant your plants. So let's plant our plants and I'll show you that. I'm going to start with four of these and I'll do the rest off camera. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at where our potato is. Our potato is right here. So we're going to dig this down in here. We're going to stick this potato into the ground. We're going to cover it up a little bit. Move it to the side, grab our next one. On this one, our potato is right here. Dig this down into the ground. Put it down right there. For our next one, our potato is beginning to sprout. It's got lots of root. We're going to set it right down inside here. 
We're going to cover it up real good. Just a second, I'll show you how I water these. These are going to go into the tower. I'm going to break this one off. It doesn't look as healthy as everything else. We'll set this aside and we'll actually plant that. We're going to plant this one too. We're going to plant three. Take this, set it down inside here, cover it up with soil. Now let me show you how I water these and I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish all this off camera. These are going to be sitting here for a while. So I use this old aluminum pan that I have left over from who knows where. And I set my potato plants in here as tightly as I can, just like so. I take some water, I pour it into the pan, and I'm going to let the water soak up through the bottom of this into the top. I will keep this, oh, I've got a leak in my pan. That is not going to work. Scratch what I just told you. I place the plastic top across the bottom to protect it. Now I'll go ahead and I'll fill up the rest of this with potato cuttings, I mean potato, uh, planted potatoes, and I'll put water in there. As you can see, some of these are beginning to really absorb water, which is a good thing, because we need to get this damp, and once we get it damp, then I'll remove these and I'll set them somewhere so that they remain damp, but not sitting in water, and they can take off and grow.